first thing you will need are obviously colour pops, some isopropyl alcohol. I use 99.9 .9 and I've got a little bit of it decanted into a dappen dish um, and I've also got some in a spray bottle because depending on what mood I'm in depends whether I spray the alcohol on the nail or um, dab on and when I do use the dappen dish I use this uh, little brush and if you can see it's not super fine quite fine and I do tend to take off the excess alcohol because if you put too much on the the pop it will spread too much so what I also use to soften lines and remove um, Sharpie is cosmetic sponge it's just a normal cosmetic sponge and all I've done is just with my nail, you have to excuse my broken nail, is just tear a piece off like that. Grab it with the pinchers and I always tend to use the rough edge rather than the smooth on the back. And I also have my little trusty thumb palette. I use this at the end when I want to put a, maybe a few lines of glitter into the veins or a bit of French white. So the, those are the tools that I use. And I think we'll now go on to the products. Okay, so the nail that we're going to do today is going to be the white granite. And the colours that are needed for this nail are gel 2. French White G001. The Sharpies that I've used are the dark grey, black and blue and these are fine tips. Doesn't matter if you haven't got the fine ones, you can use the thicker ones but I find these are easier if I'm going to do any detailed work towards the end. And then the um, Extreme Shine Top Coat. What I tend to do is do two colour coats and then I remove the sticky inhibition layer and actually put the Sharpies directly on top of the colour then do all my artwork and then I top coat twice I find that if I apply top coat onto the colour before Sharpies and then put another two layers of top coat on the nail tends to be a bit chubby so let's begin okay so the sticky inhibition layer has been removed and I'm going to come in now with my grey Sharpie and I'm just going to basically draw squiggles And I'm going to come in with the blue, put them in next to the grey. Out, Dave. Go on, out. Sorry, that's my doggy. Okay, so you can see, not exactly artistic, just a few squiggles and then I get my brush dip it in alcohol and then dab Now I want my grain to be diagonal. And 
And that's all I'm doing, just dabbing with the alcohol. And as you can see, the pattern is already merging. So I'm just going to roll with it, basically. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to get the blue again and I'm just going to go over where the lines have been made. And I'm going to get my sponge dip it in the alcohol make sure you just stop um, dab off the excess because it soaks up a lot and basically all you do is dab very very gently so basically you're just sort of touching it Like this, just fill in the parts. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in and just go over where the veins are and get my pen to work. This is black, by the way. It doesn't have to be perfect, just go over with the black sharpie, just follow and then get some blue, I'm going to have to zoom out, this is a bit too close. Do a little bit there as well. So can you see? Just squiggles, nothing fancy. And I'll get the alcohol and now just dab a probably a little bit more just to blur those lines. Can you see? Then I get my brush again, dip it in the alcohol and now angle the brush for the direction where you want the alcohol to separate. So obviously I want the grain to go this way diagonally so I'm going to And the rule of thumb with alcohol is the more you put on, the more you sort of re remove 
the pattern so if you only want to blend you need to put a tiny tiny amount on if you want to take off put a little bit more as I'm doing here I'm putting a little bit more because I want more of the white to shine through underneath you can see it's getting a nice little pattern now It's getting a nice marble effect, isn't it? So I'm just going to go in, put a few black splodges there if my pen decided to work. And get my brush and just soften it a little bit. That's a really nice marble effect. Now, you could leave it like that, or you could get a very, very fine brush, which I have one here, which is the Nail Perfect. Double zero, double zero brush. And with my little thumb palette, which is normally on my thumb, but it isn't now, get a little bit of French white. And just put a tiny, tiny bit through your vein. Can you see? Tiny, tiny bit. A little bit here, a little bit here. and try and soften it just a little bit so there's no actual definite edges there you go can you see? so because it's got a little bit of gel to on you no need to cure it just a flash cure will do Okay, so that's flash cured. I'm now going to put a um, layer of top coat. So that's been cured. Um, top coated twice, I'm just going to wipe off the sticky. And as you can see, got a really nice granite marble effect. Gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed watching. Any questions please ask and I'll do my best to answer. So for now take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.